So there we were, wheel to wheel, with the nastiest racing cars I've ever seen. Razor sharp chrome gleaming in the dark, weapons bristling under rumbling hoods. Oh, the Cry City Welcoming Committee. Have a drink, friend. Yeah, well, whoever they were, they messed the wrong racers. Jack and I are world famous. And we're connected, too. We've been thanked. Invited to Crash City for the reading of some will. A rich guy named Crew. The big gang lord? Yeah, big is right. We were Crew's muscle in Haven City, but old Tub of Butter kicked the bucket. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah! Slowly the racers circled us. The smell of fear hung in the air. And the smell of something else, too. I told Jack, lose the sucker! Sounds like this city's terribly dangerous. Maybe we should get law enforcement to crack down. <laughs> yeah, well, this place don't scare us. No nasty gang has got to get us to turn tail and run. Sounds like they had you dead to rights. How did you survive? able to handle himself, but with my help, we took them all out! Until only one was left! Really? You know, people in this town have a way of getting in over their heads. Like at the bottom of the ocean. Eh, uh, easy boys. My story's almost over. Yes, it is. Wait a minute, it gets better! Really? Dex, get in the car! Jack! Are you crazy? You ruined my story! Now! Yeah! What are you waiting for? Step on it, Jack! I told you not to go out. We're getting death threats, Dex. Someone doesn't want us here. You think? I say we take the next boat home. Not a chance. Hang on! Jack!
ready to race. Let's do this! Let's mix it up. What I love to do. Okay, dude, let's mix it up. I'm going to teach you youngins a lesson. Let's get this over with and blow this berg. Who called us here anyway? Crew's daughter, Rain. Crew had a daughter? Crew? Reproduced? Ew! Can you imagine what that tub of jelly must look like? Thank you for coming to Crass City. It looks like some didn't make it. Ah, well. I'm Rain. Before Father died, his wishes were simple. To have his will played for his closest associates, and for us to drink to his passing. This special vintage he kept for the very occasion, to toast his death. Here's to old friends, and to Father's untimely death. <sighs> so without further delay, his message to us. Hello, nearly friends, and mostly enemies. If you're listening to this message, then I must be dead. Oh, well. As you all know, I loved racing almost as much as I loved weapons. Alas, I never fulfilled my living dream of winning the biggest race of all, the Crash City Grand Championship. But even in death, I will field the greatest racing team ever assembled and win the biggest race on the planet. You are the best of the best, and you will race for me. Never no Forget it! I expect you're all riled up by now, so let me tell you why you will race, and you will win. If all went as planned, you just give a touching toast in my honor. Sorry to say, but I put poison in that special vintage. Quite unsporty, am I really? Father! This is where Rain probably gets upset. Sorry, dear. It's a slow-acting poison, or you'd already be dead. You have just enough time to finish this year's racing season. If you race for me and win, my associates will provide you each with an antidote to the poison. Simply... What the hell did you do to us? Please, I, I didn't know. I drank it too. Father never did play favorites. Yeah? Well, your father's crazy. We're all crazy for coming here! I think she's telling the truth. Well, it's been one minute, so I figure by now you're all arguing about how to get out of this mess. My advice is trust no one. Win the race and save yourselves. Jack, next time you invite me to one of your little parties, don't! We can do this. We can race. And we can beat Crew at his own game. Father bought us the best mobile racing garage money can buy. And each of you has a racing car waiting. We're in this together. So let's get to it. It's been a while since you've raced, Jack, so let's take your vehicle out on the track and I'll go over the basics. Hit the gas, Jack. Brakes are there when you feel the urge, but knowing you, they won't be the first thing on your mind. 
Hit the brake, Jack. Holding down the brake will stop your racer and put it into reverse. Hit reverse, Jack. Good! Feel the controls? Your racer has great steering response. And trust me, you'll need it for some of the more challenging courses. Green Eco powers your vehicle's damage control. When you pick up Green Eco, you repair damage on your vehicle. Not bad! You finished your first training. Get ready for the next round. Feels nice to be back in the saddle, huh, Jack? Okay, take the vehicle out for a spin and let's see what you've got. Pick up some blue eco. Watch your turbo meter for how much juice you've got in the tank and use it when you really want to burn up the track. Your meter says you've got turbo power. Use it, Jack, and drop the hammer. Oh yeah, now that's speed. Trust me, you'll need it. Mastered turboing. Let's move on to the next round of training. You can use the e-brake to get into a power slide on turns. You'll need to use power slides to get around aggressive corners. Try getting into a slide, Jack. Now hold the brake down, turn, and hang on! Great, nice slide. You can pull a 180 turn by holding down the emergency brake. Get up to speed and give it a try. Almost, try again. You're looking good. If you want to catch a little air, use the car's jump jet. Jump jets give you a little boost off the ground when you need it, and will maximize your hang time. Try jumping, Jack. Jump jets. Jump jets give you a little boost off the ground when you need it and will maximize your hang time. Try jumping, Jack.
Picking up Eco will power up your car and give you lots of options while you race. Try picking up a little yellow Eco. When you pick it up, the Eco will be processed and an energy weapon will come online. An icon will appear telling you what weapon you've got. That icon means you have missiles. There are different weapons Yellow Eco will give you, and the icons tell you which one you currently have available. Each weapon is unique, and each has strategic advantages in different situations. You'll have to experiment with each type to find your favorite. You also have a dark eco meter. You can power that up by using your weapons. The more you use them, the higher the meter will go. The higher the dark eco meter, the more powerful your weapons will get. makes your weapons more powerful until you crash. Now that you know about Yellow Eco, let's move on. Okay, let's try something new. Red Eco is for rear weapons. Try picking up Red Eco. That icon says you now have a Red Eco mine. You can activate a red powered weapon with its own special fire button. Remember, this button will only discharge red weapons and they go out the back. Try dropping a mine, Jack. Good job! That'll give someone a headache. Oh no! Some of Mizo's gang are on the track! Look out! He's launched a missile! Drop a mine as a counter move! Nice! Completed your training. Now let's see if you can hang with the big boys. Here's your first new vehicle, Jack. This one's built for speed. calls for something a little more rugged, choose this one. This is a racing challenge, Jack, but this sport's called combat racing for a reason. Everyone on the track will have weapons, and they won't be afraid to use them. You'll be up against some pretty tough drivers, so watch yourself. The object is to complete the set number of laps faster than everyone else, but also do it in one piece. Just keep your car on the track, be a hard target to hit, pick your battles wisely, and get to the finish line as fast as you can. Go get him, Jack! Welcome, race fans, to another turbocharged season of high-stakes, high-speed racing! As usual, yours truly, GT Blitz, will give you a pit row view of all the action as the best racers of the world swap paint in their quest to claim the Crest City Grand Championship Trophy. In the end, only one wheel jockey will claim the prize as the greatest racer in the land. And we'll be here to cover all the thrills, chills, and spills. The season's first race kicks off in a few minutes, so stay tuned 
and keep those engines coming. The first race. I fear this affair will end badly. A wise man once said, be watchful of those in front of you, but beware of those behind. What wise man said that? I did. Look, none of us is happy about this, but we might as well make the best of it. My father provided everything we need to win. One of us can do it if we all- Your father got us into this mess, so zip it before I come over there and play daddy. Well, well, I was told we had some fresh wax rookies this year, but I had to eyeball it for myself. GT Blitz is the name. I'm the Crass City Racing Commissioner and star of the highest syndicated sports event on the planet. I just came by to wish you luck and to skid down a few rules. No side bets, no cheating, no rule breaks or we'll break you. You in gear? This is show business, boys and girls. Only the best racers move up to the bigger event, so make me happy and make the crowd scream. Let's race. Welcome to the first race of the season. Let's see who's got the tread to win it all. Ready, go! Take out. Didn't even leave a mark. I got you now. No! Sorry. 
here, folks. At least those of you who didn't die yawning or switch to the brand channel. An unknown driver wins his first big race in lackluster fashion. So, tell us what happened out there. Were you frightened? No. Well, wait till you race against the big name drivers. It gets worse. <laughs> Much. Think you can handle it? Give him a break. I'll take that as a no or no comment. And with that, let's take it down to Greaser in Pitero. That's a wrap. Listen, I'm not getting much smoke off you guys. I need more spin, more heat. Ratings were down 13 points on that last race. Not happening. If you want to get into the club, you got to win a lot more and you got to win big. Accumulate serious points and maybe I'll give you another interview. <laughs> if you're still around. Well, well, look what the lucky winners won. We have a winner!